Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Super Cool, released in the year 2021. The story surrounds a senior in high school named Neil. He is an imaginative kid who loves to draw and write comics. He also fancies a classmate named Summer, but has never had the guts to express his feelings to her. She is popular and cool, everything that Neil is not. In the opening scene, they're on the school bus when a masked man shoots the driver dead. The students try hiding under their seats, but the man looks through them and captures Summer. Her friend and a popular kid, Chad, try to stop him, but backs off, terrified of the gun. After he takes Summer away, Neil gets up, determined to get her back. His best friend Gilbert warns him against it, since Summer doesn't even know he exists, but Neil is adamant. He pushes the dead driver away and keeps Gilbert in charge of driving. Then he gets on the roof of the bus and jumps on the kidnapper's vehicle. Just when he's about to catch the bad guy, Gilbert loses control of the bus and crashes in into the car. Everyone holds their breaths in shock, that is, until Neil brings Summer out of the wreckage with no injuries. As she asks him, we find out the scenario was only in Neil's fantasy. As usual, he's making a comic book about him being a handsome and popular icon. Neil has a younger sister, Jacqueline, who's way more popular than him. The siblings are always arguing about something, but it's evident that they adore each other. At school, Summer is handing out the invitations for her birthday party. Neil is distressed because he hasn't been invited yet. Gilbert suggests he make a wish at 11.11 p.m. to make the miracle happen. Neil knows he's only joking and doesn't think much of it. During the lunch break, Gilbert urges him to go talk to Summer. He supports his best friend and wants him to show a little courage, since he's been in love with Summer since middle school. When Neil refuses, Gilbert pushes him to Summer's table. Neil is so nervous that he accidentally pukes on her, destroying any chances he had to go to her party. Later that day, he locks himself in his room and drowns in self-loathing. That is, until Gilbert barges in and makes him practice a dance routine that they always perform in private. Neil feels a lot better after talking to his friend, but he still doesn't want to go to school tomorrow. They climb up the roof and talk about the events of the day while gazing at the stars. Neil's neighbor Jimmy is a millionaire and a womanizer. He comes home with different Porsches and different girls every night. The guys envy his lifestyle as they notice him entering his house with three women. They talk about how they would go as far as to get intimate with each other to be rich. Neil's parents, who are right below the room, overhear the wild conversation and look at each other in horror. Before going to sleep, Neil notices the time in the watch is exactly 11.11. Without thinking much of it, he wishes for a second chance with Summer. The following morning, he wakes up, wears a hoodie, and makes his way to school, trying to hide his face from everyone after yesterday's incident. Strangely enough, Gilbert ignores him and walks away uninterested in talking to him. Neil looks into the mirror and sees that he's changed into an entirely different person, who is way more attractive than the real him. Even his body has changed alongside his voice. He realizes that his wish has somehow come true, which means he's getting a second chance to be with Summer. Everyone he comes across greets him, intrigued by the new handsome guy. He then meets Gilbert and tells him something only Neil would know to prove his true identity. Initially, Gilbert is skeptical, but by the end of the day, he believes his friend. At home, they tell Jacqueline about the strange change in appearance. Although she doesn't believe him initially, Neil proves himself by drawing in his regular style. They name him Ace and ask him to enjoy being attractive while it lasts. Following that, Gilbert and Ace go to a clothing store to get him clothes that match his personality. Neil finds out how much privilege pretty people get when a random dude invites him to a party. It turns out to be an exclusive party called the Fuckingham Palace, hosted by a wealthy businesswoman, Victoria V. The man advertises the party as a wild orgy which excites Gilbert. He accepts the invitation on Neil's behalf because the event is on the same night as Summer's party. Then, the guys go to a music shop where the popular kids of the school hang out. As Ace, Neil talks to Summer and manages to land an invitation to her birthday party. Although she doesn't seem much interested in him, Neil is overjoyed. Gilbert thinks that Neil will have to hook up with some girls to build up confidence and practice before doing the same with Summer. Moreover, all the popular guys have fancy cars. 
If they manage to get one too, it will surely impress her. The only person who can provide them with one is Neil's neighbor, Jimmy. The guys go to Jimmy's place and beg to rent his Porsche for the night. It turns out that he's a Porsche dealer and has unlimited access to the cars. But that also means he will charge them a lot of money for it. After boasting about how the car is a women magnet, Jimmy offers them a simpler deal. If they can get him past the security in the Fuckingham Palace, he's willing to lend them the Porsche. The guys accept the offer and agree to meet him in the evening. Gilbert then insists that Neil will have to take a Viagra just to be sure. After all, this is the first high school party they're going to, and Summer will be there. To get the pills, Gilbert contacts his internet friend, Jay Sizzle, and goes to his house. He turns out to be a middle-aged man with a Korean wife. In turn for the pill, he asks for a favor and makes the guys watch him and his wife make love. After the strange encounter, the guys promise to never speak of it again. They wait for Jimmy in a mart. To their surprise, Jimmy comes in with a ski mask and a gun, ready to rob the place. In the heat of the moment, the guys act as his accomplices before the owner brings out a gun and fires at them. The place turns into chaos, but the group manages to run away before the police arrive. When everything calms down, Jimmy claims that he robbed the place just for the fun of it. Gilbert and Neil get into an argument because Neil thinks everything wrong is happening because of Gilbert. He also blames Gilbert for being the reason he puked on Summer. The guys go different ways after the altercation. Neil then makes his way to the gas station to buy Summer a pack of chocolates. Another robber attacks the place and holds him hostage. In the end, the officer recognizes him as the Mart robber from earlier and he has to run away in a taxi before being caught. In the meantime, Gilbert and Jimmy go to the Fuckingham for the party. As they had expected, the place is filled with half-naked people dancing, drinking, and doing illegal medicines. Jimmy notices a man walking into the VIP room and decides to check it out. On seeing bundles of money inside, he spontaneously plans to rob it, but the security catches him before he can get his hands on the money. The act also gets Gilbert in trouble with the host of the party, Victoria V. As compensation for destroying her party, she seizes Jimmy's Porsche and threatens to kill them if they try to retaliate. Meanwhile, Neil reaches Summer's party and meets her. However, the interaction doesn't go as planned because Summer walks away in the middle of it. The other popular kid named Chad is furious, seeing Neil trying to get close to Summer. He challenges Neil and promises to get with Summer before him. Somewhere else, after being kicked out, Jimmy refuses to leave his Porsche behind. Through a sewer, they make their way into a fenced ground where their Porsche is. On the way, Jimmy encounters a snake but holds its head quickly before being bitten. When they reach outside, Gilbert panics because of the snake. Just then, Victoria V arrives in the parking lot threatening to kill them. Gilbert knocks her out with a rod before running away with Jimmy. On their way back home, Jimmy reveals that it's his 30th birthday today, and he lives in his father's basement. The money and cars are only a show. In actuality, he's drowning in debt. The guys go to his room in the basement and play video games until Jimmy's father arrives with a cake. All three of them hang out together for a while. Then Gilbert remembers Neil, and that it is a big night for him. They get in the Porsche and go to Summer's party to support him. Chad starts a dance-off to impress Summer and prove that he's better than Neil. After his mediocre performance, Neil is called to the dance floor. At the same time, Gilbert arrives and decides to join him. The guys perform the dance choreography they've been practicing for a long time and impress everyone with it. Chad is furious that his rival stole the show. Hence, when Neil is in the portable toilet, he pushes it into the swimming pool. Everyone laughs at him, and in a fit of rage, he does the same to Chad and his friend. Summer is furious at all of them. Before she kicks them out, the police arrive, looking for the Porsche that belonged to the robbers. Everyone starts to panic and run in different directions. Jimmy and Gilbert get inside the garage, where they find yet another Porsche. They get in the car and drive outside at full speed while being chased by the cops. When the chase gets intense, Jimmy quickly thinks of a plan. The mart that they robbed earlier is right by the road. As the owner is repairing the damage done earlier, they ram the car into the shop. Jimmy apologizes to Gilbert and shoots him on the thigh before doing the same to his arm. 
Gilbert winds in pain, but Jimmy asks him to trust the process. They make the store owner catch the gun and pretend as if he shot them. The police think the scheme is a part of a bigger plan because the man with a Porsche would never rob a Mart. That way, Gilbert and Jimmy are sent with the paramedics, while the shop owner is taken in for interrogation. Meanwhile, Jacqueline and Neil are outside Summer's home. When the clock hits 11.11 again, Neil changes back to himself. Jacqueline doesn't tell him this and sends him back to Summer with the confidence he has as Ace. Although skeptical, Neil does as told and finds Summer cleaning the house alone. He offers to help, but she just asks him to go away. Neil hands her the chocolate he had bought for her earlier. Since they are Summer's favorite chocolate, the gesture makes her feel somewhat better. While they eat them together, she calls him by his real name. Neil finally understands that she's not talking to him because he's ace, but is genuinely interested in him. Following that, they go to Neil's father's street-side restaurant to enjoy his cooking. Neil also finds out that Summer has been noticing him for a long time and knows that he likes to draw. He nervously allows her to read inappropriate comics he has made of her, but Summer seems to genuinely like it. That was all from the video, I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.